Okay, Pat, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to have a look at this seagull and I can tell immediately that we're we've got a disaster, unfortunately. Um, anyway, it looks like it's lost the circulation. That's quite a big little seagull. He's full of bounce. Full of bounce, but... Um, just quietly. Just quietly. The leg is withering. And I have been massaging yeah. it to be relieved. Yeah, 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 sure. You've been doing what you can. Yeah, because it's been um, very cold. But we've got... Um, we've got... Um, Looks like we've got gangrene affecting the dry gangrene affecting the foot as if there's been a thrombosis or a clot right. um, in the foot. Um, and at the moment it is up to here, um, probably up further if the truth be known. Um, I'll just have a look at what's going on up here. This is looking a lot, a lot better up here. Oh, good. So the um, the um, Infection is under control, I think. So I must be getting some of the medication. Yeah, I don't think that's, that part's working. Um, but the over, overall view is that the, um, you can be a one-legged seagull. It has to be true. When we do the amputation, I think. Fortunately, okay. seagulls are one of these birds that adapt fairly well if they live near a beach or um, they go out of the breeding system but they they can still live a a, um, a meaningful life for a number of years with one leg so and we see that time and time again in the, the wild seagulls oh yeah now no, they manage pretty well wasn't so he? just because he's got a um, losing his leg doesn't mean that I would recommend euthanasia in fact uh, yeah it's going to um, yeah, I can see from there that it's going to uh, need to be a high amputation um, so we'll need to schedule him for that so not the best of news uh, in fact it's um, uh, but at least we tried and he's got a chance and um, um, he He'd probably be better off than the way he was because the, the way his leg was before it was interfering with him getting around and walking around. So um, uh, I'm not at all happy with the outcome, but things go wrong sometimes. And mm. that's the nature of um, both human and veterinary medicine and surgery. Uh, we win many times, but we sometimes fail in inverted commas. The thing for me to do is to keep trying to do my best, see what we can learn from it and just to move on, continue to help the bird as much as I can. So that's what we'll do. Okay, thanks, Pat. Okay, thank you.